What's going on guys, welcome to my tutorial on Adobe Edge Preview number 6. In this video I'm going to show you some of the new things Adobe brought to Edge. Right away you'll see this, these are tutorials that will get you started. This is provided by Adobe. I thought this was pretty cool and also if you don't want to have them on here you can just click quiet and you won't have to view them. But if you are interested you can watch some videos and learn some new things or you can check out my tutorials. So we're going to get started over here and this is one of the files I have opened up. This is something I'm working on for my website. So let's just say I want to use these stars for another animation. I can right click on this and export the symbol stars. And I already have it saved, but I'm gonna save over it and we called it stars. Next thing I'm gonna do is create myself a new document. And let me just change the background color here. I'm gonna come over here to the symbols panel and go import symbols, select stars. And those are the stars animated. So this allows you to import symbols and especially if you're working hard on an animation and you really want to use it for something else, this is a great feature that Adobe brought into Edge. Now another thing I liked about this new addition to preview number six is adding a code window. Before you couldn't access everything all at once. So over here I have my Adobe Easy button and this is an action for it. Make adjustments to the coding over here. I have logos and you easily just go through each one and you can add to coding. Also another great feature for this program is making your own shortcuts. Now this is a feature I think they should have in all Adobe programs. So we can come over here to edit, keyboard shortcuts, and you can start making your own. This is a popular one to place on the timeline. This is a trigger. And right now it's set a control T. But say I wanted to do something else like shift T. I'm gonna click over here and select OK. And now I'm on the timeline, shift T, will allow me to put a trigger on the timeline. So right away it works. Now the next thing I'm gonna show you is how to publish your project. Over here we have use Google Chrome frame for IE678. This is an option that's great for people who have previous versions of Internet Explorer and there's a lot of people out there. They're not gonna be able to view your HTML5 content. With this plugin, you'll be able to view it and what happen is you'll either use an iframe or an overlay that'll be part of the installer, but what will happen is the people can view your animation and that's very important. The other option over here that stands out is the publish content as static HTML. It allows for some optimization of your content. That's what it's about when you're developing a web page. It's not just about animations and everything. You want to have data and content there so people can find it online. So this will allow it to be search friendly. So that's a big step for Adobe. Next over here we have the export for InDesign. And you can use InDesign to make your projects tablet friendly. So that's another cool thing. You also have an export for iBooks. And that is it. If you guys have any questions, let me know. Post them in the comments below. Join us on Facebook. Thumbs up if you like this video, and I'll see you guys later. Cheers.